Look, <sighs> looking on my balcony, got my phone in my hand. You know, you wake up, you go through social media. And this is actually on you. This is actually on Facebook. Um, I don't know. His name is Akala. But a white lady is going to ask this biracial guy. He's like a light skin with dreads, biracial guy. Uh, basically, uh, about black people saying the N-word and white people saying the N-word or why they can't. Y'all know I don't edit the video, so I'm just going to play it from here. He says something that I disagree with. He says some things I do agree with. But I'm going to play it and just give my commentary on it because a lot of people try to ask me this. And then I have pages full of black people. Then I got another YouTube page full of white people. Uh, got pages full of good people. Then got pages full of hidden racist people. So I want to go through what he said and then leave my commentary on one video where I can just show it to everybody else and so people can stop asking me. All right. And like the use of that in rap music, because obviously as a white person, I've been brought up never to ever use that word. But a lot of the music I listen to says yeah. it 20 times in every song. Yeah, for sure. So I wanted to know what your thoughts are on that and like whether you think it's a word that's become obsolete or whether you think that there are negative consequences on the fact that it's so widely used. I do. I do. I very much do. I used to be someone who used the word all the time, as some of you may or may not know. I came to a stage in my life where one of my oldest said to me, you're better than that. And I started reading a bit more. I started studying the history of the word. I started looking at the brutality that had been underpinned by this word. Let me be clear. I'm not against people using the word. I'm just against the stupid idea that it's now become a term of endearment. It hasn't. It has so much blood attached to it for me. He almost going to contradict himself when he says, uh, when I keep playing it, but he said, I'm just against that it has become a term of endearment. Let's hear why he thinks that. He thinks it's stupid that it's become a term of endearment. It means what it's always meant. It is a term of white supremacist genocide. It is a, uh, a word that says... African people are not human. It was a way of reducing people to subhuman status. All right. You got to pay attention to people's words when they talk. He said uh, it's a word that means genocide. He Then he says, he goes from, he's saying it is to it was. It was a word that meant that. And I just don't understand. Like with me, what you're going to find with me is I don't contradict myself. If I feel one way about something, I feel the same way about every everything else. So we change the definition of words all the time. The one example I use is the word handsome. When the word handsome was first used, it was used to describe a woman. Now that sounds weird. You say handsome to describe a man. Why? Because of we changed it over time with the way that you use words. Every other word is being changed. So it's just crazy that people don't want to say that this is the one thing that, that can be changed. To me, I think it's awesome uh, that it literally is a term of endearment. It depends on how it's used. So this is not an opinion. I'm saying a fact. Literally, you can use the N-word as a term of endearment or as a term to put people down. And... What's subjective? I don't really think it's subjective. I'm just forced to say the word subjective because people can say their opinion no matter how far-fetched it is. So I have to say it's subjective on when you decide when it's offensive or not. To say that this is not a term of endearment. If my friend walked through that door right now, one of my best friends way back when I was in the military, I ain't seen him in like 15 years. If I open that door and he looks at me and he go, no. We are ecstatic, happy to see each other. It's about to be nothing but good times, catching up on memories, going out, have a drink. It's like nowhere in this involvement is anything negative when we say it. So just like every word has been used in history, I think it's awesome that like, you know, okay, you took the, the discards of animals and gave us your leftovers. We turned that into soul food. We turned that into something so endearing and, and that you love that we got restaurants all over the country that the, the descendants of white oppressors, white people now, will go into the restaurants to eat this soul food. We did that. We flipped that on something that y'all thought was bad. We flipped that. We flipped this word to make it a term of endearment when we use it towards each other. We did that. It's literally the same thing. And I know what I mean when I say it. Um, 
So to say that this can't be a term of endearment when it literally is a term of endearment when, when black people use it towards each other is weird. Now, the only thing I will say that's different about this than the most words in history is that uh, when you change a word, it changes all around for everyone. So when you change handsome to me to describe women to now handsome describing men, it means it no matter what race you say it. But with the N word with saying nigga, it really depends on which race is uh is is saying it. Um and, and I guess that's because because of some of the, the shock value of of it being so different than when, when if a white person was to say it for a term of endearment. Um now why couldn't this cross over? We're not saying it, we're not saying it. I'm not saying it like it's a hard ER word that you're being racist on purpose to put another put black people down. I'm saying you want to say it as a term of endearment. He's going to touch on, and this is why I'm going to agree with him, why he feels it's weird. And, and I'll give my opinion if, if white people want to say it as a term of endearment. Which led to, as I've said, to people being put in zoos or public lynchings in America where someone could literally be barbecued in public and people thought it was perfectly acceptable to bring their child, give their child the day of school to come and watch a person be barbecued in public. Rail systems would operate special lynching day rail cards. After the lynching, there'd be postcards with the dead person on front of it. They'd send out as souvenirs. So this is the history behind that words. If we look at early hip-hop, when hip-hop was a bit more independent, when hip-hop was owned a bit more by the black community, we see that hip-hop was completely offensive to everyone. You would say cracker, they'd say honky, they'd say nigger. You'd have Ice Cube making inappropriate songs like Black Korea. You'd have songs, the NWA songs that were about killing black people. Hip-hop was just completely like punk. It was just offensive to everyone. But someone decided somewhere it was no longer acceptable to say cracker and honky and those kind of words, but nigger was okay. And for me, when we look at who owns hip-hop, most def made a song called Old White Men is running this rap shit. It's called The Rape's Over. It was on a, a beat, the same beat that Jay-Z made The Takeover on. And that song was taken off of his album without his label telling it because he criticized white corporate ownership of hip-hop. He said some tall Israeli is running this rap shit and that was taken to be anti-Semitic. Leo Cohen is tall and he's Israeli. It's a statement of fact. It wasn't anti-Semitic. He was like, that's who's in charge of rap. It's not black people. Um, and so I think that the use of that word has become, to me, very gimmicky, has become a dangerous way of glossing over the reality of what it was to be black in America. And certainly for me, as someone whose mother's white, I don't understand the motivation for I really listen to when people talk. I, I'm, I'm, like, I'm genuinely listening to what you say, and I'm trying to follow you. Uh, first of all, hip-hop was not started... Uh, with N.W.A. And, and just being completely offensive because he's talking about the early 90s when hip hop actually started in the 70s. And uh, those songs with hip, the hop, the hippie to the hippie, they weren't like that at all. So if he's saying that someone decided to change something, then they decided to change it into uh, gangster rap in the 90s. So that was a change just like. So I don't I don't I don't really understand his point. On, on trying to say that, like you know, it was offensive when it first came out, but hip hop changed. But also, it wasn't. It wasn't just hip hop. The entire world was being in, insanely offensive. If you don't believe me, just go watch an Eddie Murphy stand up comedy special and watch how many times he says the f a g g o t word. You know. Um, but the, but so I don't I don't understand what his point, what he was trying, what he was trying to get to on that point. And I guess he starts starting to say that. Uh, then white people really, really own hip hop. Yes, I don't understand how he can correlate white people owning hip hop to the use of black people saying "nigga" as a term of endearment. I don't, I don't get that point at all. When people are like, oh, but "Why can't I use it?" I'm like, first of all, why do you feel oppressed by that? I'm confused. And knowing the history, why do you want to call your black friend "nigga"? Let's just deal with that for a minute. Because my mum's white, and she's never had the desire to say, "Look at my little nigga son." So I'm confused why people want to use the word. Now, black people can figure out for ourselves whether or not we think it's intelligent to continue using the word. But why are young white kids like, I, I just want to call, I just want to. This comes back to your question a little bit. This perverse sort of, oh, blackness is just a bit dangerous and it's a bit sexy and it's a bit violent. That's the hypocrisy I heard in the video, which we are down to like the last 10 seconds. But the hypocrisy I heard in the video is the beginning. He was just saying how, you know, no one should use it. But then now at the end, he says black people can figure out whether they want to use it uh, or not. But when he when he said like, again, when we talk about white people and we talk about a term of endearment, they like the they don't want to they don't want to be racist at all. They don't have a right. They just like, why can't I say the N word? 
And that's what I naturally think. That's what black people think. Like, why do you want, why would you want to say, say that it's not a part of you? It's sort of like, you know, you see this a lot too with other words, uh, especially in the workplace environment. I go to workplace environments and hey, brother, that's the, the, the number one thing that people, you don't call everybody else brother, you just call me brother. You know, and like it's weird. And then I'll reverse it, you know, like if people, you know, start saying, hey, hey, what's up, my, what's up, dude? If you black, like you don't go around calling your other friends dude. <laughs> Why you switching to call dude when you see a white person, bro? You don't talk like that. Like if it, it comes across as just weird, like why do you, I don't think a lot of white people want to use it. Some people do maybe like, you know, like if you want white people grew straight up on black culture, hip hop culture, I can figure out that you probably secretly want to use it. But for the most part, for the people who want to make this argument about the N word, they don't want to use the N word as a term of endearment. You know, they just want to throw up the uh, the argument for it. I don't, I don't give a damn what another culture does. I don't know what Japanese people are saying to Japanese people. They got their thing. They happy talking to each other that way. I never am nosy to want to figure out like, why are they saying that word or talking like that? That's, that's their, that's how they talk to each other. You go to any tribe across the world. I see my black friend. Yo, what up my nigga? I don't have a problem with that. That's how I grew up. And I know for a literal fact, we are saying it as a term of endearment. It's natural to us. We're not acting a certain way that we should not, that we're trying to be fake or just trying to say something just for shock value. It's literally rolling right off of our tongue as a term of endearment because we are using it in the context as a term of endearment, such as every word you say now that has changed context over the entire year, over the entire history of language. The way someone can speak like old Saxon English or the, the way language changes is suddenly over time. It has always been uh, been that way. It's not like somebody woke up and just made up some new stuff. So um, I look at you if you want to say the uh, term, the N word is a term of endearment. If, if you are white, um, just why do you want to do that? What is your reasoning for wanting to do that? Because it comes across as different and weird to me. Um, in this world we live in now, it is a fact that it is used as a term of endearment amongst black some black people to each other. And then it's a fact that it's used offensively. The subjective part is you decide and when it when it when it goes that way. Um, there was one more thing I wanted to say before I, I ended the video. I'm gonna be mad if I don't if I don't remember it. Um, let's see, white people in word. Damn it, I'm so mad because I just thought about it and kept talking. And then I'm going to watch this video and then I'm going to be mad that I didn't bring that up. I'm not going to catch it, man. It's a Lux, a Lux second, man. A Lux, yeah, Lux first. I'm sorry, I'm not going to catch it. But, yeah. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. If you notice, I never debate. When, when Even when people come in comments and, white, and when a white person say, I find it offensive when black people use that word. I don't respond back because it's so beneath me. When you want to talk about like oppressors and 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 a, a race, a culture that you know a, that that used to look down upon black people, you are in no position to question me about me using the n word. You know what I'm saying? So like, I find it insulting to join conversations and try to debate uh, when a, why a black person uses n word, like. No, you're not sitting at a position that I need to explain myself to you. I'll do the same conversation if a black person asks me that. You got some black people who don't like the N-word and don't want the N-word to be used. We can have that. We can have that conversation. But like, I'm not explaining myself to a white person on the subject of, a, of the of the N-word. And, and, and every time they, they go and want to throw this out here, you know. That's why it took me even a long time to discuss this in the video. I just don't feel like, I'm like, who the fuck are you to ask me that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When we, when we leave and you go around white people, y'all going to chill, talk the way you talk, laugh. You, you know, like, 
it's like a guy asking a, a girl, why y'all call each other bitches? You know, I don't really care that women call each other bitches. I know that they're being friendly with each other. I know that, hey, bitch, good bitch. So you, you have an analogy right there. Like, I don't care. I don't care about two people having a pleasant conversation and what they call each other in that pleasant um, conversation if it ain't got nothing to do with me, you know? If if, if 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 they find it offensive when men use it and they know for a fact we're using it to be offensive, you fucking bitch. They know we are being offensive, but they know that they're not when they're saying it. Cool. I don't meddle in they shit. I'm not like nosy like that. Like call each other bitches all fucking day. But who am I to go and, and question women? If they want to do that, they can do it. So if I can't question women on that, I don't feel like that. I'm not a hypocrite. Um I don't care. I don't have to defend the way I talk to my friend to, to, to someone else that it has nothing to do with them and their exclusion. So that's my video for the day. Y'all hold it down, man. Y'all might see some new cool ass wooden frames. Y'all know I love my wooden frames. I got to go get my eye appointment today. So uh, I've never had it. I know my eyesight is worse for my prescription. So I know I'm going to need a harder, stronger prescription. For my people who've been wearing glasses, I'm new. I've only been wearing glasses like a couple years. Uh, I'm new to this. So when you get a new prescription, what happens? Do they take your glasses and change all the lenses? Or do you got to pay all this money for new glasses? Y'all let me know. Holla at your boy.